Well, joining us tonight, White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham. Stephanie, good to have you with us. I know that the president, uh, the White House, has to be uh, well pleased by uh, Ruth uh, Ginsburg's, uh, Justice Greensburg, Ginsburg's uh, hold. Uh, where does it go from here? Is it simply a matter of waiting for the court to decide? Yeah, I think I think you're exactly right. It's just going to be a, a matter of waiting, but we are pleased with with that. I think that was the right thing to do. The uh, the right thing to do. Uh, Pat Cipo the president's attorney, uh, Pat Cipollone, I, I thought wrote something very uh, very correct, uh, telling basically the Democrats to stuff it on the uh, Judiciary Committee until they could find some legitimate process that they might want to get involved in, because this certainly is not it. Oh, it's it's been um, it's been a circus to watch, and actually, Chairman Nadler fell asleep, so maybe circus is being generous. Uh, this whole thing has been has been crazy, and I, I think what you said earlier is right. The American people know what's going on. They know with the jobs numbers today, 266,000 jobs added in November because of this president's policies. He was just in NATO working on behalf of the country again. This president continues to work, and and the Democrats continue to just you know clutch it anything they can to to stop him from winning in 2020, which he's clearly going to do. It, it is the the level. Of response from the left, even the left wing national media today, acknowledging the strength of the Trump economy. Uh, the radical Dems are in a terrible, terrible place. Uh, they're making fools of themselves with this so called inquiry uh, that is nothing more than a farce, and the American people are making it clear they understand that. The president's popularity is rising, uh, and the opposition to the impeachment uh, farce. Uh, is rising and significantly. Uh, this is a loser for the left. Uh, I wonder if uh, Republicans shouldn't hope they continue the uh, impeachment train that they have cranked up. I will tell you what, uh, even in, in your opening, uh, Nancy Pelosi saying that she hopes we have to stop the president from damage. I don't know what damage she's talking about when unemployment is down and the stock market is, soar is soaring. It's interesting, too, that she said, you know, this isn't political. But then in the next breath, she says we have to stop him from winning. I thought it was also interesting that she did this big town hall on another network last night, and halfway through she said, I don't want to talk about impeachment anymore. Can you imagine? We have had to talk about and endure impeachment for months and months and months, yet she couldn't even stomach it for more than 15 minutes. They know that what they have done is backfiring. I think she knows a lot of her freshman Dems are in real trouble, and she's going to lose the majority. So, you know, keep at it. And as the president said, if this does go to the Senate, we welcome a trial. We welcome being able to show that the president did absolutely nothing wrong. And Republicans and supporters of the president across the country uh, in both parties, independents, uh, are, have to be taking note uh, of the reality that the Republican Party in the House has stood absolutely united behind President Trump. And now with the, uh, these three chairmen of committees making it clear they're going to pursue their investigations this is a, a new uh, dawn of unity in the Senate that we've never seen any indication of before. Absolutely. And again, this is another reason that this entire sham is actually good. I think that while the, the uh, Dems are trying to divide this country, as you just said, the Republicans are so united behind this president. They have seen everything and they know he did nothing wrong. They are seeing that the Dems are trying to tear apart this country and they're not going to let it happen. I would add, too, I think that the people across this country see what the Dems are doing to this country. Our president is giving results. People know that. They're seeing that. Again, this is just backfiring on them, so we'll just see what happens. There's another metric in all of this, too, and that's the money being raised. And the president is uh, setting all kinds of records in uh, fundraising uh, and blowing away the entire field of uh, radical dim hopefuls, if uh, we can call them that, still uh, for 2020. Yes, absolutely. I just want to tell people that, you know, I, I spend a lot of time with the president. I see him meet in meetings here at the White House in Washington, D.C., and also abroad. And this president fights for this country, and people know that. And that is why I think donations are soaring. If